Coral Maze. Usually on Monday, but postponed this week. Well, no particular reason. We just wanted to be awkward. Tanya Granich. Uh, Alan, do you still use the hyphenated name or just Tanya Granich now? What do you prefer? I do Tanya Granich, Alan, but sans yeah. hyphen. I like to be a little different. Oh, golly, you are, aren't you? Well, you're the victim <laughs> this week. Now, um, we don't play that much rap. I think that's what the young people call it on the arena. I don't know why, but we have some uh, to show you just because it's you here this evening. Let's have a look, please. I got girlies half naked. That look like the grotto. High your waist anorexic and then your ass is colossal. Like, whoo! Drop that ass. Make it boomerang. Take my belt off. Take my belt off. Pooty tank, tippy towel, tippy tay. You gonna get a tip today. Yeah. You gonna get some. Today. I walk. I have no idea. I have no idea what was just going on, or even what the caption said. Well, Explain. I, I, well, I heard the song without the beeps, yeah. and trust me, it was quite profane and very vulgar. Uh, at one point, I remember hearing, "You expletive, little whores, expletive up my decors." I mean, over you and what? over again. It was awful. Uh, and this is going to be a showpiece for the upcoming Wee Day here in Toronto. Okay, now Wee Day or Meter Wee or whatever, it's, this is a huge thing. It is. Uh, I was in, I think it was Staples the other day, um, buying some sticky stick. Anyway, <laughs> and there, there, there were T-shirts. I mean, this is big. This is. Uh, is this the, uh, the, the the brothers, the uh, Kilberger? Uh, are they involved with this? Exactly. This is, uh, you know, the Free the Children organization. Right. Mark and Craig Kilberger from Toronto Catholic here. Uh, they um, this is one of their offshoots, which is to have these massive youth gatherings for 12 to 17 year olds. Thousands uh, of them. Thousands of them. Last time in at the Air Canada Centre, we're talking in Toronto it was 20,000 youth uh, from the Catholic School Board here in Toronto, the Public School Board, all sorts. Yeah. And uh, it's to promote, you know, empowering young people to take a stand against things. And of course, some of these issues are wonderful. Like, of course, yes, let's take a stand against poverty. Let's have these trips overseas where we're building schools, helping out in the poverty is bad. And, it, and, if, and if we say enough times it's bad, it'll just disappear. <laughs> Look, I, forgive me, I'm, I'm an old cynic. Um, I wonder how much good they do. I think they make the kids feel good. The kids have to go there most of the time. The school says we're going there. They bust them in. Uh, they, they, they dance. There's a lot of hugging, communal stuff. And it might do some good. I don't know. Uh, it does concern me a bit, though, that um, we, have, we, we did an item here a few months ago where one of the guys involved was, wasn't he uh, a stripper or something? Yeah, he was. his part-time job was to moonlight in a homosexual stripping uh, troupe, and he actually had to resign as a result of the attention brought to Oh, did that. he? I wasn't he aware did. of that. And uh, the, uh, the Free the Children organization said a statement that they were regretted, they regretted that he had to resign. Mm. Uh, you know, and in one picture, I remember he was doing awful things with a blow-up doll of a woman. I mean, these are, like, this, this uh, rapper here who you just featured. Who was that? I mean, is he famous His name rapper? is, um, oh gosh, what's his name? Uh, Little, jo Little Sean. Okay, Big Sean. Big hold, Sean. hold on, hold on. I'm just one minute. I don't usually do that. I'm, I'm going to turn to. Um, I heard someone on camera that. What's his name? Big Sean. Big Sean. Apparently, has real support to him. Andreas is a big fan. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, he's brutal. Honest to gosh. <laughs> and. I mean, if you think the aim of this kind of event is to make the world a better place, great. But don't bring in people who are singing about raping women, uh, performing oral sex, calling them whores, making them sex slaves. I mean, how is that going to help eradicate poverty? Make it more fun. No, no, that, forget, <laughs> forget I said that was a terrible thing to say. So he's obviously quite well known. I mean, how I'm, I'm, I'm a 55 year old, you know, white guy. What would I know? But he's obviously quite well known. I suppose they're bringing him in because a lot of the kids will know of him, and, and they'll think that anything that he says is worth listening to. And if the <laughs> message, is, I'm, he's surely he's not going to perform this sort of stuff in front of these kids, is he? Uh, no, they perform. He performs various uh, versions of it where he actually pauses and leaves blank uh, blanks where he doesn't actually sing during that point where he right. normally would have an expletive. But again, you bring this guy because he's, what, a role model for young people? How so? Not because, a role model. Should, uh, would well, they because not he's, he's hip and cool and people yeah. want to hear him sing. And that's fine in a, if you go on a, like, seek out this, if you want to seek out his music. Yeah. But for Catholic school boards or public school boards to pay to fundraise for an organization that has this kind of entertainment. Let's talk about the Catholic board. I, mean, I think it applies to both of them. But the Catholic school board, the reality is, Probably not that Catholic, but it ostensibly is. And this is hardly affirming Catholic teaching. And it is That's quite, I mean, rap is often misogynistic and quite homophobic. And I, listening to this guy, he's not exactly a positive image of women. No, absolutely not. And when I mean that the Catholic school boards are involved, I mean individual schools have me to we co committees. They fundraise, they have small pilot, pilot projects and fundraising uh, efforts for this organization. Yeah. And I think we need to be careful because, I mean, this is an organization that also backed. Planned Parenthood's uh, reproductive rights agenda in 2011. So they're obviously have to be careful of what they're partnering with 
when, in fact, they're involving themselves with the Catholic schools and going against the Catholic teaching? Can't they just have people in who can talk about young people? I mean, when when 15-year-olds in Canada hear a 15-year-old from Africa, for example, talking about the reality of having to walk five miles to get clean water, of, 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 of uh, child soldiers and, and right. rape as a political weapon and, and so on, Kids do listen. They are shocked by it. It does change them. Why do we have to have sensationalism? I completely agree. I mean, they even had Justin Trudeau a few years ago. Let's see, you want to talk about well, sensationalism? That's just going too far. <laughs> but I hear he's a very good rapper. Well, maybe he is. I mean, he definitely appeals to the young people and his hair. Well, he's also leader of the Liberal Party and could be Prime Minister. It's slightly different from this guy here. Sure. And Justin Trudeau is not going to say this sort of thing, is he? No. So, I mean, it, it, it's different. But this is so, it's very establishment. It's very mainstream. It has the support of a lot of people. Um, do you think the Catholic bishops in this case will get very upset and say enough is enough? Uh, I think they should put their foot down and stop do sending kids. Do you think kids. they will? I'll hold my breath and probably say they won't. They don't control the school boards directly. They, they tend to be rather nervous about getting too involved. Well, they could put out a letter and put their foot down, but exactly, it's the school board that runs the show, and I'm sure Kathleen Wynne will be upset if someone says, no, you can't attend this. Again, there's some good things that come out of this, but this well, is Kathleen wrong. Kathleen Wynne, as a, as a woman, as a gay person, as, as a liberal, should be actually quite upset that this man and his lyrics are, are, are being encouraged in, in, in such a place with such people. I mean, it's one thing to be hip and progressive, right. but to, to treat women in such a way and ask gay activists about some of the lyrics in rap music and some of the attitudes uh, uh, within the black community, I'm afraid. It has to be said yeah, they're very, about they're gay people. They're very, very disturbing. Very homophobic tendencies, unfortunately. But yes, you're right. Kathleen Wynne should do something. She should intervene because the stake of our girls, are, is a, the girls' fates are at stake. You have more chance of the Catholic bishops intervening than Kathleen Wynne, <laughs> and neither will. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You.